Hey guys, Munchies here. Welcome to another ZZZ video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to not misuse the Anomaly Mastery stat. So there's Anomaly Mastery and Proficiency. Mastery increases the rate at which you fill that meter. And I'm about to show why you do not want to build Mastery on a character that is not built for the Anomaly Mastery stat or for the simple fact that the character will not be built for damage. And you do not want Anomaly Mastery on these characters. So here I'll start filling the meter with grace. Think of the anomaly damage meter as like a bomb and this goes for all anomalies. So and everyone that puts into that bomb is what that bomb's damage is going to do. So as you can see, I filled up the bar mostly with grace, roughly like 90% of it. And now when I hit the boss, the anomaly ticks hit for 14,000. Now, if I'm going to fill this up with a player or like a character that's weaker, say like Anbi or a support character like Rina or something of that sort, you can see it's almost full around 99% and I trigger it. Now my ticks only hit for 1700. So it's 1787. So you can clearly see because I filled the meter up with Anbi, now the shock damage is 1787. Now when you hit with multiple characters, it takes everybody into account. So say you fill up the bar partially with Anbi and say you throw in someone someone else. So in this case, I hit, hit it a few times with Anton and then I finished it with Grace. So now my ticks hit for a little bit higher. There are 36, 26, but they're nowhere near as when I was triggering them with Anbi and filling it up with Grace because it doesn't matter who you trigger it with. It matters who deposits into that bomb. So it doesn't matter what anomaly it is, they all have the same math equation essentially except you know their values are higher some have like they'll take more percentage damage from your characters and whatnot but the general uh, layout of that math formula is the same so once again i'll show if you fill up the bar with someone that has less attack less whatever uh they're not really built for damage right you fill up the meter and even if you trigger it with them um, it doesn't matter who you trigger it with the damage for that anomaly will be based off of the characters that deposited their damage into that anomaly bomb and shout out to xr3 for me making this video i hope this is helpful to some others but this is for me personally why like when i build a support character i do not build anomaly mastery on them because if you build anomaly mastery the support's damage will fill up the meter more, but they put less damage into that bar, if that makes sense. Anywho, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything of that sort, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and sub on the way out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.